In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for ZnBr2, zinc bromide. Zinc, that's a metal. Bro means a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. That means that the metal is going to transfer electrons to the nonmetal. So we'll put zinc in the center and then bromine on each side. Zinc has two valence electrons and then bromine, which is in group 17 or 7a, it has seven valence electrons. So since it's ionic, the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetal. So the zinc will transfer electron here to this bromine, giving it a full outer shell. And then this electron will go to the other bromine, giving it a full outer shell as well. Now, because this bromine gained an electron and electrons are negative, that means that this bromine will have a one minus charge, as will this one. The zinc, it lost two electrons, so it will have a two plus charge. So we have these positive charge here, and then these negatives, positive and negative, opposites attract, and that's what forms that ionic bond. We should put brackets around the bromide ion here to show that it's an ion. You often also see brackets placed around the metal, the positive ion. And that makes this the Lewis structure for ZnBr2, zinc bromide. Do note that this is what we call a formula unit. Zinc bromide is normally found as a crystal made up of a number of repeating formula units. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.